All right, so the learning to read process <clears throat> can be rather daunting for many parents um, as well as the, as the kids, but there's no right or wrong as far as how they're taught or what age they start. Every kid's going to develop differently, but it's just important that you look for the cues of when they're ready for the next step and you can give them the tools that they need to go that next step. Um, the first thing they need to know is, of course, their letters. So when they've memorized their letters and not just seeing them and asking them which one's A, but actually where they see a letter and they can say, that's A, that's B. Um, the next step is teaching them the sounds that letters make. It's a completely different concept and it can be rather challenging to teach them that. Some kids will grasp it really early, others won't. Um, with our own kid, this is the book that turned the corner for us. Um, this is an illustrated alphabet. It comes with a slip case, but it's an alphabet book. So yes, it's great. So when they want to learn their letters, they can do it. But once they know their letters, it takes it to the next level. There's alliteration through the, ver for the, through the verbiage on every page. And then there's several items that have that same letter. So it gets kind of drilled into their head that A makes it A or A sound. Um, then there's lots of things they can look, about, look in the picture and talk about. But um, we play a game every time I read this, he puts up a finger when he hears the B sound. Um, that's kind of where it all clicked for him is when we were doing this book. So this is a gorgeous book. Um, it's a, just a great picture book to start with, but it's also a great tool to have for the reading process. So now once they get their letters down, you kind of introduce sight words. Um, we don't have a specific sight word book. Sight words will vary depending who you ask, but um, this kind of goes to the next level. So and you can start this earlier too. It doesn't matter. I did this with Weston before he even knew sounds because I was just seeing if he could figure anything out. But um, this is similar to our concept books that are like, it's like a workbook type thing. So what they're going to do is you look at this page and you can do start over here, start over here. Um, but I'll say, hey, Weston, what is that? And he says cow. Okay, well, find the word over here that says cow. And so he has to kind of spell it out and be like, Okay, so it starts with a C, so he's narrowed it down to these two, and then it's ow, and then he gets it. So it's kind of a by, recon by um, recognition. After a while, they'll kind of memorize it, which is a great sign, because that's what reading really is. You memorize words as a whole at, when you're finally finished, when you get to that point where you're reading like an adult. Um, but yes, look at all those different topics throughout the whole thing. I love this book. Lift the flap words. And then writing kind of goes hand in hand with words or with reading. Um, here are two books that we have. They usually come with uh, dry erase markers. I had gotten this as part of a kit beginning. But um, anyway, um, inside, just to show you kind of the difference. So this one's words to copy. This just gets them looking at images and seeing that they do, that it's a word, you know, that they can actually make that connection. So this is a sun and then they're gonna write sun again. It just gets them to practice those letters. Um, you can do it with them and make them read it when they're finished. Just fun illustrations. And these are wipe clean, so you can use them over. And there's numbers, days of the week. Um, you're filling out like a little story and you use the words down here to input. So it's just a fun little activity for wipe clean. And then the first words, um, kind of has a similar thing with your tra your tracing words. And I think at the end, yeah, there's blanks at the end. So you have to kind of spell it out. So you know this is a hat, so try to spell the rest of the words. So this is my favorite part of it because it's actually get, making them think. And then they have to start from scratch with those ones. Okay, so those are the white clean first words. All right, so when they are ready to start sounding, oh, sorry, I'm skipping something. Totally skip something. Um, we have this new My First Reading Library. This is similar to um, one we also have that is hardback, but I'm going to focus on this one. If you want to know information on the other one, let me know. Um, but these are all paperback books. There are 50 of them. And these ones are all numbered because if you go in this order, this is how you can introduce different sounds to them in that order. Now what these books are, they're called, they're called a, hold on one second. Dual readers, I'll show you why. Um, not all of them are, but these first ones are. Um, how this book works. You read these words, you as the parent, your child reads these words. So there's your paragraph and there's theirs. 
and every book builds upon the one before it until they feel like they're reading. Now I want to be honest, we also use the Scholastic Bob books. They're great, but the difference is these ones are going to build confidence in a completely different way because these look like real books. They'll hold their fascination longer because the colored and illustrations, and then you get to do it together so they feel like you're helping them. Um, so if you can use them both together and then at the end they have little puzzles that you can do together or that they can do choose the right words for each picture and then can you sort these words into two groups of rhymes and then they have all the answers and stuff but so that walks you through each one and so then the last book I have an entire video on just this set so if you're interested in seeing more um, you can try to find that video so this is one of the last books my son has reorganize these a couple times they will be able to read all of this if they followed that process and that is called my very first or I'm sorry my first reading library okay but in between there or if you don't get that this would be the next one I would suggest now this is a company a combination of there's 12 different readers in here you can get the 12 readers separately but this is a collection and will save you money and I love this book. Those are all the ones I have. It comes with the read along CD. And each page has simple words, big words. They'll be able to find a duck hidden on every page as an added bonus. Um, but yeah, and, it, and again, they build, so like each story has a focus on a sound. Like this one, it's eggs, digs, that kind of thing. So that is the Ted in Friends. When they're ready for the next step, or maybe they skip, we have these other dual reader type ones. These are by the same illustrator, so you'll find the same little duck throughout it. Um, there's a one called Fairy Tales too. It's the same illustration, so it's like the same characters in it. Um, a dual reader, again, you read, um, they read the top, you read the bottom, and there's several stories throughout it. Farm Your Tales is my favorite. It's a big collection. It also comes with the CD, which is currently in our CD player. Again, a dual reader tons of stories um, that will continue to grow with them. And then when they're ready for the, even the next step, so these are also phonics stories. You can get these stories separately, but they're all combined in these two combined volumes. These are different illustrations, so they're bright, vibrant illustrations. You can read these, they can read those, or they can read it all once they get to that level. These are cute, silly stories with rhymes, so it's great if, you, if your child likes Dr. Seuss or just being silly. They're just fun stories to read regardless. And then Raccoon on the Moon is the other version, just like that. So now when they're ready to get into chapter books, these are the first books that they want to start with. This is the Hey Jack series. There's 15 in this collection and check this out. So the author wrote this with beginning readers and struggling readers and dyslexic readers in mind. There's not, um, there's not too many words in each line. There's no hyphenated words. They're big words. There's still illustrations, um, but it's still, and there's still chapters. So they feel like they're reading a chapter book. These are amazing for building confidence, which is honestly half of the battle with the learning to read process. And so the Billy B. Brown is a, is a series, same characters. They're both in each other's. Um, and this is the Hey Jack series. Each of them have 15. And you can get them as sets when they're in stock. This is our brand new one, Lily the Elf. This is very similar in look and feel. I haven't done a huge comparison to see which one is harder. My instinct is that this one, just from looking through, is a little bit more challenging. But um, this will be great for them too. And there's more, there's four more that we offer right now in this series, and there should be more. So anyway, those are just some selections we have on the learning to read process. It doesn't have to be a challenging one, but it can be fun for sure.